Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Amazon. The report was first published on our website Thursday, September 29, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Amazon? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since September 27, 2022, our system ranks the Amazon stock as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.713. In this period the stock has so far done better than what our systems expected and had a gain of 0.34%. This is an average return of 0.11% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Amazon our last headline reads, Amazon stock price down 2.72% on Thursday. The Amazon stock price fell by minus 2.72% on the last day, Thursday, September 29, 2022, from $118.01 to $114.80. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.66% from a day low at $113.06 to a day high of $116.07. The price has fallen in 7 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 9.09% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 3 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 59 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $6.75 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $188.11, and the lowest price was $101.26. Right now the price is 38.97%, or $73.31, below 52-week high and 91.2%, or $1,190.40, below all-time high January 15, 2018 where the price hit $1,305.20. The stock lies in the lower part of a very wide and weak rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $114.32 is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising, but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. The current 3-month trend indicates a possible 6.09% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between 5.65% and 37.68%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 31.75% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 51.38% and minus 18.60%. This equals a price between $55.81 and $93.45 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets from analysts Amazon stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Amazon stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Amazon. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, September 23, 2022, and so far it has risen 0.9%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Amazon stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $116 and $129.24. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. 
This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a buy signal 5 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 4 days ago. The short-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 15 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 21 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average gave a sell signal 14 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a sell signal 8 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 3 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Amazon Amazon finds support from accumulated volume at $113.55 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $3.01 between high and low, or 2.66%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.78%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Amazon. The price to earnings ratio (PE ratio) is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Amazon currently has a price earning ratio of 106.30. This is an extremely high price to earnings ratio and could mean that a company's stock is overvalued. These kind of price to earnings ratios are typical or tech companies or companies that have extreme market potential. Next upcoming earnings report for Q3 2022 is expected to be released October 26, 2022. The consensus among the analysts are 22 cents. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Amazon meets first resistance at $122.28. If you do not hold Amazon shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Amazon finds first level of support at $113.55 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Amazon is buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On September 21, 2022 Stonecipher Patricia Q made an inside buy of 7,419 of restricted stock unit. Award. On September 21, 2022 Rubenstein Jonathan made an inside buy of 7,419 of restricted stock unit. Award. On September 21, 2022 Huttenlocker Daniel P. made an inside buy of 7,419 of restricted stock unit. Award. On September 15, 2022 Solipsky Adam made an inside sell of 34 of common stock. Par value 1 cent. Per share. On September 15, 2022 Solipsky Adam made an inside sell of 160 of common stock. Par value 1 cent per share. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 73.796. In total, the insiders bought 191,378 and sold 1,286,052 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock no stop loss set. Is Amazon stock a buy? The Amazon stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe Amazon will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Friday 30th we expect Amazon to open down minus 16 cents and start trading at $114.64.
We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.